Hi, this is Dr. Jenny Byrne. I'm an adult psychiatrist. I have a private practice here in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. And today I wanted to talk with you a little bit about a new treatment for opiate dependence. So I've talked in some other videos about Suboxone, which is the brand name for combination buprenorphine naloxone treatment. And recently a competitor has come onto the market. It's called Zubsolve. Show you a little logo there for them if you can see that Zubsolve. It is also a buprenorphine and naloxone combination product and I just thought I would tell you a few of the differences and similarities between Zubsolve and Suboxone. So some of the similarities they both contain buprenorphine which is the partial agonist that helps treat opiate dependence and naloxone which is the blocker. They are both taken sublingually which means you put them under your tongue to dissolve. Um, they are both dosed in the same way, meaning that some people take it once a day, some people take it twice a day, but the half-lives are very similar. Some of the differences between the two, one of them is taste. Um, Suboxone has more of an orange flavor and Zubsolve is more of a menthol minty kind of flavor. Suboxone is a film, which looks like a little breath strip that you put under your tongue. Zubsolve is a tablet, so it's a very small tablet. Again, here is a picture. There's two strengths you can see there. Um, another similarity is the bioavailable dose, and what that means is how much of the drug is actually available to your body. So Suboxone says 8 milligram, 2 milligram, and Zubsolve says 5.7 and 1.4 milligram. These are different numbers, but they are actually the same bioavailability to your body, meaning that your body gets the same amount of medicine. And the reason the numbers are different is because of the way it's absorbed into the body. Subsolv has a higher absorption, so the dose is lower. So when would you use Zubsolve as opposed to Suboxone? It's unclear whether Suboxone's film is still safer than Zubsolv tablet. I think there'll probably be some studies soon to show whether or not that's the case. So for now, people who have difficulty with the Suboxone film, can't tolerate it for some reason, have a real problem with the taste, or maybe financially it's a cheaper prescription for them, those are people that might be good candidates for Zubsolve. So I hope this has been helpful. I wanted to highlight some of the differences and similarities between Suboxone brand and the new medicine, which is called Zubsolve. In both cases, they help with opiate dependence, and we encourage you to go out and get help if you need it. If you'd like to contact us for more information, please call us or email us at the information below. Thank you.